Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and reach. We send it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 174 pounds. Fighting out of Hoboken, New Jersey, Grandmaster. All right, Green from the Rules of the Lock Room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping his guard high, blocking his head. Oh! He's in trouble. He's in oh. oh! Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, lands the double jab. Those are going to start to take their effect. 
huge block there. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Try to establish that jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, collar tie. Switch knee lands to the body. Nice body kick. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Three minutes now to go in this one. Beautiful kick. And he landed the right hand there. Another clinch position. All about that left kick to the body. Takedown defense holds up. Right hand punch from the slip. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Ooh, what a head kick. Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Engage in a single collar tie. Sound defensively blocks the shot. A little single collar tie there. Misses with the left hook. Caught that kick there. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Right there by Lee. Way to hide that leg. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, single collar tie here. Left hand punch from the clinch. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Out of range with that one. Left hand punch from the clinch. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Just out of range with that left hook. Do not back up. Let's go forward now. Score that takedown for me, man. 30 seconds now to go in round one. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, a huge block there. Great punch. Final seconds of round one. All right, single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Second round underway. Checks the leg kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night with that man. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Beautiful punch. Lance with the right hand. Oh, big 
big head kick. Just missed with the left there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Punch to the body is blocked. What a punch. And they separate. Back and forth we go. Oh! oh. He's got him hurt here. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. His right hand puts the clinch. And they separate. Beautiful strike. Big head kick land. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Again, back into this position. Nice movement, punch. Engages in the single collar tie. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. But that one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Yeah, he's going to move Gets up again here, but hurt. Big knee to the body. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, landed another strike to his opponent's liver. He could... Oh! Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Lands with the ground and pound here. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song. He's out! He's done! He's done! He's done. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Grandmaster! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and 
Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.